It's well known that Qatar exports gallons of oil, that China sells tons of computer equipment abroad and that South Africa is the largest producer of platinum in the world, but some countries are making a fortune from some rather surprising goods. Stay tuned as we take a look at 29 of the more out of the ordinary items, including cannabis, coal and ice, the territories export around the world. Iran is the world's biggest exporter of saffron. In most parts of the world crocuses are the pretty flowers that pop up in gardens during early spring. In Iran these delicate blooms are like gold dust. They are grown as a crop and their stigma are harvested and dried to make the spice saffron, which is used in cooking and medicine. Each stigma is picked by hand and it can take over 15,000 blooms to produce 100 grams of saffron, which is why it is the world's priciest spice. In the first nine months of 2017, Iran exported 147.2 tons of saffron. Sri Lanka earns millions from cinnamon. It might be a spice associated in the West with Christmas and cold winter days, but the bulk of the world's cinnamon actually comes from the tropical Indian Ocean island of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is the world's largest exporter of the cigar-shaped spice used in cooking and medicine. In 2016 Sri Lanka reportedly exported $159.1 million worth of cinnamon accounting for 32.9% of total cinnamon exports worldwide that year. Australia's biggest export is coal. Coal mining is typically associated with cold countries, but the fossil fuel is one of Australia's biggest exports. In fact, Australia is said to account for around 30% of the total global coal trade. Australia estimates that it has enough coal supplies to sustain the current black coal production rates for nearly 100 years. Tivala sells its internet domain suffix. An idyllic coral archipelago in the Pacific, Tivalu has a population of less than 15,000 and is one of the world's most remote countries. It was like the cash-strapped country won the lottery when it was given the internet suffix of TV. With media companies the world over desperate to get their hands on a TV domain the country is now said to be earning more than $2 million a year from related deals. Germany is the world's biggest exporter of chocolate. When it comes to chocolate we think of Switzerland and Belgium as dominating the market, but surprisingly Germany is the country that exports the most chocolate. In 2016 Germany reportedly exported $4.5 billion of the cocoa-rich snack, accounting for 17.1% of global chocolate exports that year. The Netherlands is worth its salt. Salt is one of the most common recipe ingredients in the world. It is also used to keep appliances running smoothly and as a de-icer. The world's largest exporter of salt is the Netherlands. According to the Observatory of Economic Complexity OEC, the Netherlands exported over $236 million of salt in 2016, accounting for around 12% of the global salt export market. Germany came second accounting for 11% of world trade. Chile is the chief sweet cherry producer. Chile is the largest exporter of sweet cherries in the world, accounting for 33.8% of the global market in 2016, according to world's top exports. The trades in this popular fruit are reported to have accrued $802.5 million for Chile's cherry producers. America came second with 19.2% of the global market and Hong Kong reached third place with 14.6%. Kazakhstan exports radioactive chemicals. The Asian country of Kazakhstan is the world's largest exporter of radioactive chemicals, reports the Observatory of Economic Complexity OEC. In 2016 Kazakhstan sold $1.77 billion worth of these potent materials to foreign countries. Its other big foreign trading products include crude petroleum and refined copper. Canada sells bovine semen. If you can't find a mate for your cows, Canada will sell you some bovine semen for artificial insemination. It's not the first thing that comes to mind when you think about Canada typical produce, but, according to the Observatory of Economic Complexity, Canada exported around $97.3 million worth of bovine semen to foreign countries in 2016. 
Indonesia hops to it with frog's legs. Frog's legs may be a popular dish on the menu of French and Belgian restaurants, but these countries often have to look abroad for the core ingredients of this recipe. Many of these frogs are caught far away in Indonesia and then shipped to Europe. Conservationists are concerned that the insatiable demand for frog's legs could have a serious impact on local frog populations in Asia and they are calling for the European Union to limit frog imports. Snails make millions for Bosnia and Herzegovina While France remains the largest exporter of snails, the Observatory of Economic Complexity found it traded $10.4 million worth in 2016. Bosnia and Herzegovina isn't far behind, exporting $8.73 million in the same period. Bosnian snails are meaty and so the demand for them is only expected to grow. St. Helena Ascension Island and Tristan da Cunha sell stamps. St. Helena, Ascension Island and Tristan da Cunha are tiny British territories in the South Atlantic Ocean. One income source that these islands rely on is postage stamps. As their populations are tiny their stamps are rare. In the 1920s when stamp collecting was at its peak, the islands were flooded with demands for their stamps. Even now, each time a new stamp is issued collectors snap them up and a large percentage of the territory's income comes from the stamps. India makes millions from turmeric. The yellow spice turmeric has been used in recipes for decades, but the Western world has only recently discovered its health benefits and the wonder spice is having a moment in everything from supplements to lattes. India is the world's largest supplier of turmeric selling $178 million worth in 2016, reports the Observatory of Economic Complexity. Now that it has become a superfood this figure is only expected to grow. Burma sells human hair abroad. While most people pay to go to the hairdresser, many of the barbers in Burma will pay their clients to cut their hair. An international market for real hair wigs and hair pieces has helped Burma's hair markets to flourish with many of its poorer citizens queuing up to sell their locks. In 2016 the Observatory of Economic Complexity reported that Burma exported $5.03 million worth of human hair. New Zealand concentrates on milk. Lamb is usually what first comes to mind when thinking about New Zealand's export business, but actually concentrated milk is the country's biggest foreign sale. In 2016, the Observatory of Economic Complexity reported that New Zealand exported $3.97 billion worth of the stuff. China and Hong Kong are the two largest importers of concentrated milk. Quicklime provides a healthy income for France. You may have never heard of it and have no clue what it is used for, but in 2016 Quicklime contributed $92.5 million to France's economy reports the Observatory of Economic Complexity, making France the world's largest exporter of this product. Quicklime, also known as calcium oxide, is created by heating calcium carbonate found in natural limestone deposits. It is used to make cement and in many other manufacturing processes. Switzerland trades blood. Used in medical research and treatments there is always a high demand for human and animal blood and Switzerland does a roaring trade in it. In 2016 the Observatory of Economic Complexity reported that the country made $26.2 billion from trading blood products. Silkworm cocoons are lucrative for Belgium. The tiny cocoons of the silkworm are used to create silk, jewelry and also for beauty treatments and Belgium is the world's largest supplier of them. In 2016, according to the Observatory of Economic Complexity, Belgium made $1.79 million from exporting these tiny cocoons. The highest demand for them comes from France. Liechtenstein exports false teeth. The tiny Central European country of Liechtenstein makes a huge amount of money from exporting false teeth. Around one-fifth of false teeth worn worldwide reportedly originate from this country. That means that about 60 million sets of fake pearly whites are packed and shipped from here every year. Morocco has a fertile trade in calcium phosphates. Calcium phosphates are most commonly used in fertilizers and the world's largest exporter of this chemical is Morocco. According to the Observatory of Economic Complexity in 2016 Morocco exported $753 million worth of calcium phosphates, nearly double that of Russia in second place. 
The UK is making money from gas turbines. Gas turbines are an essential component in a power station. They are what helps to turn fuel into power and the United Kingdom is the world's largest exporter of them. In 2016, according to the Observatory of Economic Complexity, the UK generated $19.3 billion in foreign sales from this product. Vietnam is nuts about cashews. Vietnam's cashew nut export trades were expected to amount to $3 billion in 2017. According to the Vietnam Cashew Association, the world's largest cashew nut exporter will have seen foreign sales rise 25.6% year-on-year. The United States are the biggest importers of the nut. St. Kitts and Nevis sell citizenship. If you have enough money and a clean record you can buy legitimate citizenship of most countries, but you normally have to move there. The tiny Caribbean country of St. Kitts and Nevis requires a reasonably small investment of between $250,000 and $400,000 in return for citizenship but you don't need to move there. A St. Kitts and Nevis passport gives you visa-free travel to dozens of countries and the scheme is a runaway success. South Korea is big in the algae business. Seaweed and algae is used in human food, health products, animal feed, fertilizers and cosmetics and South Korea is the world's largest exporter of it. In 2016 the Observatory of Economic Complexity found that South Korea made $175 million from foreign sales of seaweed and algae. Japan and China are the biggest importers of it. Turkey is huge in stone. Much of the stone used in worktops, flooring, wall tiles and construction originates in Turkey. Turkey is the world's largest exporter of marble, travertine and alabaster. According to the Observatory of Economic Complexity Turkey exported $848 million worth of these materials overseas in 2016. More than twice as much as Italy in second place. Most of the world's chili comes from China. We might think of Chinese container ships being full of electronic products, but a good many of them probably contain chili peppers. China is the world's biggest producer and exporter of chili. In 2016 it reportedly sold $496 million worth of chili abroad. Nearly half of all chili peppers sold globally originate from China and around 1.55 million hectares of Chinese land is said to be given over to the hot crop. China also ices up. From the heat of Chile to the cold of ice, China is also the world's largest exporter of ice and water. The country reportedly accounts for 55.8% of total water and ice exports and this is worth $611.8 million, according to world's top exports. France is in second place, but it only accounts for 7.6% of ice and water exports. Zinc is Peru's treasure. The South American country of Peru is one of the world's largest producers of the metal zinc. Used in construction and paints, Peru produced around 1.47 million tons of zinc in 2017, up over 10% year-on-year. According to Peru's central bank the metal earned $221 million in foreign revenue in 2017. The UK is the world's largest legal cannabis exporter. The substance might be banned in the United Kingdom, but this hasn't stopped the UK being the largest exporter of legal cannabis in the world. The United Nations International Narcotics Control Board reported the UK produced 95 tons of legal cannabis in 2016, accounting for 44.9% of the world's total legal production.